If you can see a strength in others, you'll be loved. If you can see a strength in others they didn't even know they had, you'll be remembered forever. Research shows that the most satisfied and happy people were those who had discovered and used their unique strengths. But here's a problem. Right now, people aren't using their strengths because we're not helping people to realize what they are and supporting them to put them into practice. The polling company Gallup ran a survey of 1.7 million employees from 63 countries. They found that only 20% of people use their strengths every day. And so only a small fraction of people are being able to do what they enjoy day in and day out. This results in a lack of people experiencing their full potential. Can we even begin to imagine the impact of this in terms of lost productivity and low morale? So how can we change this and enable others to see their strengths and their greatness more often? So what can we do as leaders, co-workers, partners or friends to do this for others? Before I answer this, I'll share with you why this is so important for me. I had understood for a long time what it was to not be seen for who I really am. And so this work really spoke to me. I realized that I wasn't fully enjoying my work and I wasn't using my full strengths. I didn't see myself for who I truly was and others didn't see it. This led to feelings of frustration, stagnation and lack of creativity. And I was stuck in only being able to do work which I had always done. I didn't know what I was capable of doing and it took someone else to wake me up to my other talents. I learned about a process called the Reflected Best Self Exercise which I use a lot in my coaching. The way I do it, I call it being seen. You ask a number of people who are close to you for stories of times when you've been at your best. This may have been the time you organized a friend's birthday or that time you worked around the clock to get the report out at work, etc., etc. You look through all those stories and you search for consistent themes. They may be creativity, resilience, organization, etc. And that's really, really powerful. But I decided to add a second step to this process. I wondered, could we use psychology and photography together to authentically capture who we truly are and to use this as a powerful anchor? Well, in working with a group of 18 powerful women across five countries, it turns out that we can. And the majority of cases, it had a huge impact on people's levels of confidence. In terms of the process, once we'd completed step one, so we supported people in collecting all the stories and finding out the common themes, which is powerful in and of itself. We sought to capture those qualities visually through a fun and engaging photo shoot in those locations which had a deep meaning or significance to these people. I hypothesized that this would be a powerful process because the end outcome, these powerful, beautiful photographs, which truly represent the essence of the person, are coming from four perspectives. Firstly, it's how the person sees themselves. Secondly, it's how their close network sees them. Thirdly, it's how the camera sees them. And fourthly, it's how I see them. Because the images are coming from these four perspectives, they can be believed. A person can look at this image of themselves and say, yes, this is me. These perspectives offer us the opportunity for helping others to unleash their unique strengths. This is really important because as we all know, how we view ourselves is rarely as positive as how others may view us. And so, whilst many of these pictures are beautiful and moving, they were deeply impactful and even life-changing for some of the people. We were seeking to capture a strength that was there and unleash it. And years later, many of the people made different life decisions based on what they experienced through the process. I noticed this was a great tool in leadership development as well. As we started on a journey, I began to see how we can create a person in how we see them. We can think about this simply. When we view somebody positively or negatively, we then unconsciously look for evidence to back up this view. As I began to choose how I saw each person according to their strengths, opportunities kept arising for them to show up or be seen in this way. In short, we began to change reality. When I was looking for a particular quality, we found it. And this is the key lesson that I learned from this entire process that if we see or create someone in a particular way, they can start to live into this reality. Often I or the camera would sometimes pick up a personal quality that they had not even seen in themselves. And we started to amplify this more and more and more, looking out for and accentuating the unique qualities. From time to time, I would say things like, 
Can you see this quality? Or can you see play? Or can you see creativity coming out? With Ambika, for example, we were able to reconnect her to her sense of play, that part of her which she had loved the most, but which had disappeared in recent years. With Eva, it was reconnecting her to her own sense of power, creativity and style, which as a new mum were strengths she had begun to disconnect with. The same is true in leadership. If we can help another person identify and own their own innate strengths, they'll begin to see opportunities to powerfully use this. If you correctly identify someone as, let's say, a creative, he'll be bolder to express his creativity in a highly creative marketing campaign. If someone has a gift for organization and you help her to see it, she may just have the extra 10% of confidence to organize an incredible event. So I'd like to share some real worked examples with you. Let's start with Antonia. One of her qualities which we identified was her incredible ability to connect with people using humor. I was looking for this quality to capture as we were walking down London's South Bank. For some reason, a sofa had been left outside of a shop for collection. I asked Antonia to sit on it and to invite other people to sit down next to her for a chat. It was a strange request to make, but I had the sense of what could unfold. I stepped away and saw her speak with firemen, priests, families, and eventually to these Japanese tourists. I managed to capture the moment when Antonia told a joke and made the two ladies and herself laugh out loud. Now this resulted in powerfully anchoring this quality within Antonia. As she said herself, this experience left me with a freedom to be free, to lose myself in the moment and to be human. Another lady, Vera, had unfortunately lost her husband a year before we worked together. She wanted to reclaim some of her unique strengths. The location we chose was the beach of The Hague. This location brought back great memories for her of times when she played there as a young girl with her parents. We captured her strength of energy and aliveness through her racing across the beach, barefoot, smiling and laughing into the camera. Quality we were most seeking next was love. I took the risk of asking Vera's new boyfriend to join us on the beach. I asked them to both look into each other's eyes. And this is what we created. And what was created and captured was beyond words. These images, as with many of the ladies, served as a powerful reminder of their greater strengths. Years later, Vera said that this moment, this project made me step up for a next stage. Be courageous and firmly on my feet again. I saw that I could love again unconditionally with zero expectations. Having the combination as a coach and a photographer, I saw something magically happen. In the whole process of being seen, I started to name what I saw. I saw a leader, I saw love, I saw resilience. And the magic is that once I could see it and help other people to see it for themselves, they embodied it. And this isn't about me. You can do this too. You can look into someone's eyes and name the quality you see in them. And it can make a real difference to that person. So can it work the other way around? Can we use the process back on ourselves? Well, I believe we can. In addition to my leadership work, I'd always dreamt of being a travel photographer. And one day I shared this with my good friend, Steffi. She looked at me and said, Mark, your photos are amazing. and You've got everything it takes to do this. You're great with people, you're a connector, you're creative. And these were qualities I knew I had, but I didn't fully own before. As a direct consequence of this and that conversation, I carried the photo book with her and I took all the photos. And the book's been recognized by some of the leading photography and travel magazines globally. Now I had had no formal photography training. I'd had zero travel writing experience. But here's the thing. Steffi saw the photographer in me and this was enough to give me the confidence to do something I would not otherwise have done. So can we see ourselves through a different lens with someone else's help? Yes, we can. If there's one thing I really want you to take away from this talk, it is how to see and create someone in a new way. For me, photography was a powerful tool. How you help others to discover and embed their strengths is entirely up to you. For example, empathic listening, creative challenges, conversations, exercises, games, Whatever you decide to do, most importantly, it's about identifying the strengths and finding the opportunities to reinforce them. So just to make it simple, I recommend six steps. Be clear, this isn't about you. Empty your mind and be totally focused on the other person. Ask the other person for examples of times when they've been at their best, when they've been at their greatest. 
As part of this, ask them to gather this data from trusted family, friends, and colleagues. Help the other person to look for the themes like we've discussed. Offer your own take on some of their strengths. Anchor it within them. Find the right words to powerfully convey to the person so they really get it. Like with photography, this stage is about helping the other person to see it and own it for themselves. Finally, reinforce. Find a way to help the person to use these strengths as soon as possible. This will strengthen the strengths. Whichever method you use, help the person to create memorable experience whilst using their strengths so they can always be remembered and called upon when required. Be aware of the power we all have to change others' reality in an instant. The deepest need we all have is to be seen. And so, what if today you could see someone you know through a fresh lens and help them to see something in themselves they have not seen before?